Hey everyone and welcome back to The Oval. We have a couple of great topics for you tonight and I'm going to start off with the first one. In recent news, social media has been influencing young tweens to buy unnecessary amounts of skincare products, specifically anti-aging products. Uh, and it's been reported that a lot of tweens have been having terrible reactions to these products. What do you guys think about that? I have my thoughts on that because that is not what I was doing at their age, getting into like Drunk Elephant, like all these big Very makeup expensive products. Too. Yeah, like Very so, like expensive. who has the money for? That? I don't even have the money for nope. that. I'm a broke college student. Like, yeah. no thanks. Um, but I was like at that age, like I was not. I had like that ten dollar combined makeup mm -hmm. kit with the blush, eyeshadow, lipstick, all in one with the little brush. It Me comes too. With. I don't. I don't really understand that. I feel like that's what I miss about being like a young girl is that you get all those small things. Like I wish I could go back to Justice right now and have it be normal I agree. or like Claire's yeah. or something like that. Yeah. I feel like all the issue is that parents aren't monitoring the social media that their children are using. So all these young girls, and I understand, like, it, in a way, it's kind of sad. Like, yeah. I feel less judgmental, more sad about mm -hmm. it because they're seeing all this and they think it's normal and this is what they should be doing, like anti-aging, like you don't want to have these wrinkles when you're older. So they're like, oh yes, I need to yeah. do this. And they're it's unnecessary totally for them. They're missing out on their Yeah, I mean, it, it really, it's sad though, because then they have this like, terrible idea of what it means to be a woman. Like yeah. it, from that young age, you're being told wrinkles are disgusting, right. wrinkles are ugly, you gotta prevent it at age like 10 years old. That, like, yeah. right. I it, don't, it's, it's not a good look. I don't remember feeling self-conscious until probably like middle school and to know that they're already, you know, inspecting themselves on an iPhone camera yeah. and like doing what I do now at seven, like that has to be so damaging to a Absolutely. young person's mind. Like oh, the. Yeah melding of the mind at that age is crazy to be having those thoughts and yeah. those insecurities. It's, it's sad, but I understand why, because it's been pushed at that. Absolutely. Yeah, it's harmful, sure. absolutely. That, this, is, this is their normal for right. that generation. Yeah. Just like that was our normal when we right. were kids. Yeah. yeah, it could completely yeah. go in a different direction where we're talking about how social media impacts young kids, but it, it's true, really. Like, Since we didn't have social media, that's not what we were you know, looking into. I wanted to look like like Hannah Montana, like right. I wanted to do, do stuff yes, like that. You know, I had that wig in the microphone. Exactly. Yeah, so it's completely different and it's sad though because things are going downhill and it's showing us how women are really treated in society, you know, it's yeah. sad, right. but. Yeah. Um, six to, I think it was like six or seven dermatologists um, yeah. Yeah. were reporting that they've had these young girls with skin problems and it's because they're layering and layering and la layering on these products that they don't really know what they're, they're seven to 13 years old. Yeah. They don't know what they're supposed to be doing. So they see all these beauty gurus and people on social media just piling on all this skincare and they're yeah. like, oh yeah, I'll do that too, mm -hmm. without really knowing what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, and the effects. Because yeah. it, 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 these are the people that they look up to now. Right. Like there'll be little girls looking up to Alex Earl. Right. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. that, uh, unfortunately it's the new norm. I do think that these little girls having the, the physical reactions, you know, to the products is it's terrible, but yeah. it, to some degree it might be beneficial for these parents to be like, hold on, let me reel my right. kid in here, you know. And the social yeah. media, yeah. monitoring social yeah, media exactly. is very important for young, yeah. young kids. Absolutely. But let's, speaking of the apps and like the influential stuff that they have on people, Timu. Yep. Timu, Timu. is now known as America's most dangerous app because Truly. of all the information that they can get from us. Apparently now they have pictures, videos, locations, like so many things that we probably don't even know about. Yeah. And now it's, I think it was saying it was certificate pinning is what yeah. it's called, that it's so bad that researchers can't tell what kind of data they're collecting now. Right. So it's like there's no privacy Pretty at all. Pretty scary, it's yeah. really scary actually. Um, the source that we got it from was the, it was the Today Show, was it yeah. not? Yeah. Um, when we were reading about it, it also said more specifically, if you have this app downloaded, they have access to your camera, your contacts, your microphone, yes, contacts. your IP address, which will tell them your exact location, as well as, they, you know, according to the source, it says that if it has your exact location through your IP address, it also has your sexual preference and your political affiliation. Yeah. So they really have everything that they need to know everything about you under the just sun that because they could you need. downloaded the yeah. app. Yeah. That's terrifying. Well, honestly. that's where I have my own personal story because I just ordered from Timu two weeks ago. 
Um, and I've ordered from there too. I ordered them ordered and I was shipping here. I always here. thought it was a scam, so I never, <laughs> <laughs> I never did it. Well, it is a scam, clearly. <laughs> yeah, now we know. Um, but I do have a twelve dollar and twenty two cents credit that I do need to spend, so we're still gonna. Don't use the app. Last time. After that, after that, use, we're going. Go on your yeah. browser. Yes, yeah. yeah. so website is okay, but the app is where they're saying that it's really yeah. all coming from. But I had shipped it here. And all of a sudden, my mom's like, oh, you got a package. And she sent me a picture. And I was like, why is my Timu package at my house? And I've only ordered from Timu one other time. So I get it. My address could have been in there but previously. That's but I didn't put that in there. That's what the problem is. Yes. They have your address saved. And, and now you didn't it's even like, click it. yes, that happened. And now I, we read this article. And I'm like, oh, my God. Well, that's adding yes. up. Yeah. And people yeah. always say, oh, now. your phone's listening to you. It's listening to you. And this just goes to prove that like it probably is. Listening listening she really is listening to you. Yes. And I, even today, like I went to go get a Philly cheesesteak, and what's the first TikTok I open my phone is somebody <laughs> making a Philly, Philly cheesesteak, cheese yeah. and I didn't look it up like anything. Yes. Like I just went to this r restaurant, picked up my food, and went home, started eating, opened my phone, and that's the first thing that I see. That's crazy. Which was crazy. That yeah, is so crazy. Scary. Moral of the story here: delete Timu. Delete it. <laughs> delete uh. it. Stick to the website. Yeah, yeah. Um, in later news. Um, Hopeful news, we'll bring it to you. Um, Beyonce has released her new country album, and she's hoping that it you know, shines a light on the fact that there aren't just white country artists. There's also people of color, black people, who are making country music, and it should be talked about more, it should be more popular, because everything in musical history has come from black people. Mm -hmm. Rock music, rap music, obviously, in country music, yeah. everything like bluegrass, like that's all. Yeah. Yep. Originated. Right. Originated from black culture. Absolutely. That's. That, but that's why uh, you know I, I'm hearing her music now, the country style, like everywhere, and it kind of makes me feel like no so good. No matter what, Beyonce is just always a slay. Like true. she's always just a slay. Yeah, she really bodied it, yeah. honestly. But it's true though. You know, when we were reading the the article from NBC News. Um, it, it was talking about how when you think a country, you automatically jump to the conclusion, oh, white men. Like that yeah, is music for absolutely. white men, which is not the case. But, you know, when I you mean, actually that's do why research, I shy and away yeah. from it because exactly. it's well, so heavily populated with straight white mm -hmm. men, and I'm just yeah. like, I'm good on that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But that's why I'm so excited that Beyonce's releasing this because you know her fans are hoping that you know the black community can reclaim it. I so hope so too. That would, would be great. Yeah. That would be excellent. Yeah. yeah, I would love that. But yeah, I mean. Like I said, when you think of country, you don't think of the black community. Even though you can, there's plenty of talented people that yes. fall under that umbrella. Like, of course, you have Darius Rucker, even Tina Turner leans a little bit more country in a lot of her music. Like, it's Completely. great to see that. I, I love that. That's, it, like I said, in all music too, like nobody thinks about the fact that all this classic rock, where did it originate yep. from? Yep. Like, exactly. I feel like Jimi Hendrix is probably the only popular artist or musician that we hear about from, you know, mm -hmm. classic rock and onwards. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was a TA for an intro to media class and class. I had to, yeah, it was your class. class. Yeah, yeah uh, that's crazy. Um, I had to give a presentation for like a review or whatever and one part of it, we had like a whole section dedicated to um, how white musicians would do covers of black musicians' songs because their music was not allowed to be released on the public radio because of segregation. So these white artists would see that a black artist had a, a hit of a song that people love and they would take the song and they would re-record it with their own music. That way it would be allowed for everyone to right. hear. That was actually so one of my favorite classes. It's a lot of Very interesting, erasure. but it's, yeah, exactly. So it takes so away a lot of the credit. Yes. Took, takes all the credit, yes. it takes all the credit. Unless, you know, then things started to change with music, you know, up and coming though, because then there were some, they, they were called DJs though at these record stores that would play them. Uh, eventually, they were, they were separate, right? So they'd have DJs and record stores for the black community, and then they would have it for the white people. And at, so it got to the point where DJs for you know the record stores catered towards white people would play music from black artists because it was just too damn good. You couldn't <laughs> recreate it. You could not. It was a style that was just something that could not be replicated. And that's why I hope Beyonce comes in and she she yes. does it and then you can't replicate it nope. and then it's reclaimed. Right. Yep. That's what I hope. And I hope it opens a lot of doors for Absolutely. you know smaller artists yeah. or people who are just getting into the music industry because there's so many people with talent that just go completely unnoticed because of the overshadowing of very popular 
usually white artists. Yeah. Like. Right, exactly. Yeah, well, good stuff, guys. Very good Thank stuff. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next week on The Oval. Bye. Bye.